Hey guys, First Nexus here, and this is going to be a bit of a tutorial on how to mod or hack Seven Days to Die. If you honestly believe this is hacking, though, you're a fucking idiot, and I, you're just you're a fucking idiot. I don't really know what else to say about the fact. Uh, you really just are dumb, and you're just probably too young to be uh, really understanding what's going on, but. Anyway, this is how to mod 7 Days to Die. This is a very, very basic tutorial, too. The reason behind that is that I've been sitting on this idea of a video for a while. I'm a cybersecurity major, and I've been programming for 7 years. And I know how to code. I'm not an expert by any means, but I know a fair bit enough to be able to make mods for 7 Days to Die. And I don't... This is a chi a channel, sorry I had a bit of a hiccup there, a channel primarily based on uh, gameplay videos and things like that. I don't want to ruin that, so um, I don't know. If people really want me to keep making these videos, you're going to have to leave a comment and like the video saying, you know, keep making the videos and something like that. Just tell me why you want me to keep making the videos and things like that. And I guess I'll keep doing it then, because I'll do what my fans want me to do, but... You know, if I'm, if no one says, like, I'll keep making this video, then this is going to be the only one there is. And this is only a very, very basic tutorial, because, I don't know, I've been sitting on this for a while, and I don't know if people will actually like it or not. I've been very iffy about it. The only reason I'm making it now is because I've had a little bit to drink. I know I said I was 21 a few days ago, or 19 a few days ago, but don't worry, I'm 21. Just don't do any math on that. It's okay. Um, yeah, I wouldn't do anything illegal. So... Yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna just show you, I, my gun is broken right now, it says I need a repair kit to fix it, so I'm gonna go ahead and change a few things with this game, and you will see pretty much, uh, how it changes, and, you know, what, what is done, and things like that, and, you know, this is, this is a tutorial that should help you modify any weapon on your own. I'm actually unaware whether or not this will work on multiplayer servers, I, if you're hosting it, I think it will, but I doubt it will on someone else's server, but I don't know. That's still something I have to test out, but I hope it doesn't, because I really don't want to be teaching people how to be malignant trolls on other servers. I mean, Team AVO are just my absolute motivation, but they never made tutorials, because they knew how bad it would be for the community, so if it turns out the stuff works on multiplayer servers, I'm probably not going to keep the series going. But anyway, I'm going to resume the video once I am on my desktop, so see you back in a sec. Alright guys, and I'm back, and pretty much, to start off, you go to Steam, Libraries, Find 7 Days to Die, probably your first thing in your list, and go down to Properties. You open up in general, go over to Local Files, Browse Local Files, you're going to click Data, Config, and then you'll be here to all of these things, and I will explain that in a sec. Uh, first, you're going to need the Notepad++ application. This will allow you to modify code. If you just allow or just double click this, it will open up some Internet Explorer bullshit, which no matter how much I click, I cannot actually modify. And I accidentally hit F11 there. But yes, you cannot modify that, so that is worthless. So Notepad++, and then what you do, or well, the link will be in the description first off, but once you've done that, you're going to find the thing you're going to modify. For me, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose items. So I'm going to take the items folder or file, and I'm going to copy it to my desktop. I already have one there, so I'll click copy and replace. For you, it will just drag and copy right to your desktop. You won't have to click copy and replace. So once you've done that, you now have your backup. If anything goes wrong and you break this file, you just bring this back over here and hit copy and replace that time you will have to hit copy and replace and that will fix anything you broke uh, if you change other files though you're gonna have to make backups of those too I honestly would prefer, uh, like say uh, just for safekeeping just go to config copy and paste the whole folder onto your desktop just in case you colossally fuck things up so once you have made your backups I, you go to items and right click and edit with notepad plus plus all you have to do is download it follow some simple instructions on how to download it and you'll have it once you are here it will open you up to probably about here I, I don't think it'll open you up to somewhere else but I was editing stuff beforehand I deleted all that as you saw in my game before 
and once you are here uh, if you're this is a tutorial on how to mod the pistol so that's all I'm really going to be showing you so you're going to control F and you're going to type pistol not pistols with an S just pistol T O L no S at the end and you're going to click find next until it brings you to the line 384 you can go ahead and uh, just find line 384 on your own that's completely okay but once you are here this is where the real modding begins now first off this is code if you did not know this already I'm gonna try and make this tutorial as basic as I can for those of you who don't know literally anything about programming this is code the green though is what we call comments comments are these messages that allow the creators or in this case the fun pimps to know okay everything between this and the next comment is about firearms they let this lets them know this section down to here is about the attack action and this is down to here is the use action so green is comments that's not actual executable code everything else is though so once you're here there are several things you can focus on and I'm gonna go through pretty much most of them so starting off mesh rifle material are things that you generally don't need to worry about uh, for repair tools let's say uh, instead of uh, repair kits to repair it we're going to make it forged iron there we go it auto completed it forged iron is now what you use to repair the pistol the hold type one is how the character holds the weapon so don't worry about that I uh, don't really worry about this stuff either and you know I get again I'll make more videos on this uh, I'll be able to show you how to affect the damage and change the damage to zombies and players and other blocks and things like that and that gets into the actual properties of the uh, gun parts and if you want to see those kind of videos uh, again leave a comment like the video let me know and I will make more tutorials but uh yeah, if this video doesn't get a lot of views and a lot of people telling me to do it, I'm probably not going to do it. So, and then in the next section, we have the attack actions, and this is where you're going to change most of your stuff. Now, magazine size is right here. Is that 15? I don't think that's quite enough. Let's make it 150. Uh, it fires a 9mm bullet. Those are too hard to craft. I say we just make it fire wood and instead of a delay here this is how long it takes so you can fire the next bullet Let's just make that zero I don't want any delay it'll fire as fast as I want it to click that sounds good to me and if you go down here you'll see damage bonuses to the head eh, let's say 600 to wood let's say uh, 3000 to earth let's just get rid of that dot and make that 4000 and grass will make that 2500 and that will change a lot of things in here and I will be able to show you in better detail what it actually changed in seven days to die uh, but pretty much I will just kinda go over this as you know briefly as I can in the most basic terms repair tools is what you use to repair it repair it obviously it's going to take five of whatever this is and then it's going to go down to uh, sorry uh, where is it uh, there it is delay delay if you make this three that'll be three second delay if you make it point three that's a one-third second delay if you make it zero it will fire as fast as you can click magazine size is whatever you set it to the magazine items is whatever item you set it to I could make this fire uh, other rifles or for example a gun f sorry gun AK man can I let's not screw up the typing this time it's on caps lock of course man I cannot type gun uh, AK-47 I can make it fire AK-47s if I wanted to but I want to make it fire wood wood uncapitalized and that is what it fires the magazine items and then damage bonus to the head is the bonus damage to the head damage bonus to wood is what it will do to wood earth is obviously earth and grass is grass now this does not affect the overall damage if you shoot a zombie in the chest it will do the regular damage that a pistol would do but again that will be in another tutorial if you guys really want to see more of these anyway I'm going to go ahead and file save 
and once you filed save just make sure it has saved by going to file if you can't click save again then it absolutely has saved you can go ahead and close out of this and I'm gonna open up seven days to die again and once I'm back in the game I will resume the video so see you then. All right and I am back once again and let's see what these mods have done if you look in the bottom right you can see my gun is clearly firing what now if I hit R it will reload to a hundred and fifty but if I try and fire my gun is still broken but if you remember I changed it from f uh, repair kits to forged iron and I can just click repair and it will go ahead and repair my pistol and once I've repaired it you know it's full repair again and I can go over and just you know shoot the ground breaks the ground and uh, you know I changed the delay on it so I can fire as w fast as I want now sorry if that's uh, very hard on your ears but it just fires extremely quickly now that's the whole point of it um, if I come over here shoot a tree trees gone I'm gonna shoot a bigger tree to show you but uh like I said this gravel is not considered earth earth is considered things like this I can just honestly I could just fire a hole straight down pretty much uh, you get to a certain point you can't go down any further uh, sorry if the game is too loud I'll try and turn that down in editing but uh yeah this is uh pretty much what I was trying to show you that you can make it do as much damage to the earth as you want I'm gonna have to put myself in DM mode and then I'm gonna go to the map if you didn't know this go hit F2 enter DM and then that will allow you to open up the uh, a set of uh, or the um, sorry that will allow you to uh, activate debug menu and once you have done that you can go to the map and control and right click it is right click which is very important it will allow you to control right click and teleport wherever you want and uh, this tree here one shot it down I'll just show you again these trees have normal health you know 1200 health well now it's 1154 shoot it and tree goes down tree goes down tree goes down that one's out of range but this one isn't tree goes down tree goes down and my gun is broken again I'd have to spawn myself for a iron to do so but you know I'm not gonna do that this video you get the whole idea that's pretty much how it works if I shot a zombie in the head it would one shot blow up its head things like that um, if you want more tutorials on how to do more in-depth stuff again let me know I don't know if this is what people want or not I was very you know on edge about creating this video so you know if you want more let me know in the comments otherwise uh, check out some of my other videos I uh, usually I'm just playing uh, seven days to die with some friends or cross out by myself and just commentating and things like that I have a lot of fun making YouTube videos and I hope you come back to check out some of my other videos they are really worth taking a look at at least and uh, yeah I really just hope you enjoyed and if you liked the video give it a like and uh, hope you're having a great day peace out and see you next one in the next one